am so proud of myself. It is week three. And while I know that I told you guys that I was only going to be talking about white wines that I don't traditionally pick up in the store, it's kind of like a catch-22 because I am doing both. I am talking about a Sauvignon Blanc. However, I am talking about a Sauvignon Blanc that is not from a traditional region where I drink. So let's dive right into this Chilean Sauvignon Blanc. Hello everyone, Ro the Libationista here, and I must say that I'm a little gussied up today. I'm headed to a wedding, and one thing that I can say is I absolutely love love, and I love to celebrate love, and um, y'all, I have been pre-gaming, and we're not going to talk about the spots and things on my glass, because I've been touching everything. I've been getting dressed and sipping as I go, and I was like, you know what? I need to share this with the viewers, um, of course, and thank you guys for watching. Uh, so I'm in a series right now talking about whites that you don't normally um, get in the store. This is a Sauvignon Blanc. I'll just put that out there. Um, I think I've said several times on this page or on my channel that I absolutely love Sauvignon Blanc. However, I love and I typically drink the big, bold, aromatic, um, stone fruit, passion fruit, guava, Sauvignon Blancs from New Zealand. Those are my favorite. It's hilarious because I'm learning Spanish again. And my, um, my tutor is from New Zealand. And it's hilarious because she was like, I can't believe you guys love our wine like that. Like, we don't even drink like, our own wines, not like that. And I was like, well, fine, keep on shipping it out because I'll keep on drinking it. Um, however, it's hilarious because I went to the store the week before we were practicing like my conversational Spanish. I know I'm giving you guys a lot of that story, but we're working our way around to how I got here um, to the bottle that I chose for this week to be sipping on. Um, she's like, oh, no, we love um, Chilean wine. And I was like, really? Chilean wine? Come to think of it, when I was in the store, I bought a Chilean Sauvignon Blanc because I had never had it before. And I was like, oh, let me expand my palate. Let me see what's going on. So um, what I do have this week is a 2023 Chilean um, Free Spirit Reserva Sauvignon Blanc. The brand is Limarina. And um, this comes from the Lamari Valley um, in Chile, of course. Uh, and this one was another one that was 91 points. I tried to go for, especially when it's something that I've never had before, something that has been rated. Um, however, you know, sometimes you do miss some of the more awesome um, wines that have not necessarily been rated for whatever reason. Um, don't necessarily have that huge marketing machine behind them. But um, this one is very good. It did not disappoint me at all. So one of the things um, that makes this a little bit different with the New Zealand aromatic, like, like before your glass, like I could smell a New Zealand um, Sauvignon Blanc like with the glass this far away, just because it's an aromatic wine. However, um, putting my nose in the glass, I'm getting lemon, lime, grassiness. Um, it even smells like it has like a high level of minerality in it. And of course, I went back and looked at everything. Uh, I wrote all my tasting notes down and all that good stuff. And I wasn't that far off. Um, but you also would get notes of, I would think like thyme, um, and grass. That is what I got in terms of the notes on this. Um, but citrus and that good stuff. So even after tasting it, I'll taste it again. Still has that strong acidity. It does have lemon and lime, a little bit of grapefruit. I am not even really getting stone fruit on this, so like not getting the peaches or any of the tropical notes, that kind of thing. This one is a very refreshing, very crisp um, Sauvignon Blanc. Straw color, again, don't talk about my glass. I got, I'm very well oiled and it's all over my glass. <laughs> but um, I am thoroughly enjoying this. I'm glad that I stepped outside of the box because I typically go in, I'll get one, you know, I'll get, um, a California Sauvignon Blanc, like from the Loire Valley. I know that I know that I like that. In California, a lot of times if I get it, I'll get like the rounder, um, 
oaked Sauvignon Blanc. Um, it's, it's a Fumé Blanc. So you'll see that um, if you ever see that. I think, come and think of it, I should do a whole, <coughs> excuse me. Woo child, I almost thought I was gonna die. Um, <laughs> I'll cut out a good bit of all that choking. However, back to um, tasting notes. I think we talked about um, grassy on the nose, um, very much lemon and lime on the palate, um, high levels of minerality as well as high levels of citrus. Um, but one of the things that I did want to talk about in terms of pairing this, this would be perfect with ceviche. Um, and any type of like flaky white fish, flounder, cod, sea bass, any of those, um, even some of the heavier white fishes. Um, and I would even put this with a catfish, you know, not heavily seasoned catfish, but I mean, you know, it's very citrusy, so it could, it could definitely ride out. Totally, um, I would say I enjoyed this. I'm very impressed. And again, this one is Limarina or Limarina. I'm going to put the little picture next door um, just so you can see it. Um, again, this was, was 91 points rated. This is a 2023 Chilean Sauvignon Blanc. And I also wanted to mention that I am partnering with Reserve Pass. Um, they are an app-based service that provides access to all of these lovely wineries all over the country. So they partner with numerous wineries. One thing that I love about them is that they have like some of the larger ones and then they have some of the smaller ones. Um, the ones where you literally walk into the tasting room and you're walking into the um the actual person who has either picked the grapes or has mashed the grapes or whatever. So um, it's one of the things that I absolutely love. They have um, some of the discounts that they offer, like buy one, get one free tastings. You get discounts on bottles, discounts on cases, all that good stuff. But check them out. Um, and they gave a little old me a code. Um, my code is RowLovesWine40 and you get to take 40% off your yearly membership. Yearly membership used to be $99, but it is now $69. And yes, they said that you can get the 40% off the $69. So it is a win-win in one visit to a winery. You have paid that back. So anyway, that's enough of me talking about Reserve Pass, but I think that you should definitely check them out. Um, and sign up for why not? I mean, what do you have to lose? Nothing. You get nothing. You gain nothing but having wonderful wine, um, especially um, some small local growers or small local um, wineries and vineyards. So um, again, thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe. I would love um, to like and subscribe any of your pages as well. So, um, and feel free to drop down in the comments any of the Sauvignon Blancs that you've tried that you absolutely love. So, I will, I will see you guys next week and cheers. Now to go party it up at this wedding. Pre-game. <laughs>